Yeah, take a look. This might be one of the biggest stop signs in the area, but you cannot see it if your head is down looking at your phone. Sean Dover has serious brain damage after an accident that happened right at this intersection. But now his family has new hope. Hope because he's getting better and hope that drivers might be starting to realize just how dangerous texting and driving really is. Can you give me a kiss? Give me a kiss. I love you. An unimaginable okay, eight months tomorrow, for Sean okay. Dover, his girlfriend Jenna, and their ten you. kids. Every day that I have to hear my kids ask me, Mom and Dad's going to come home, and I can't give them that answer. It breaks my heart. Sean was struck at close to 70 miles an hour by a Ford F 250 at an Independence intersection. The driver believed to be texting and driving. It wasn't known if Sean would ever walk or talk again. But just recently, he's been improving. About six weeks ago, he um, just woke up and started talking. Hi was his first word. I uh, love you was followed right after that. Hey, Sean. He's hey. even standing up. His loyal girlfriend wishes the distracted Hi. drivers she still sees on the roads could just spend one day in her shoes. This is something that's going to take forever. He's going to have pain meds. He's going to have wheelchairs and therapies, and he's going to have a lot of stuff. For Jenna, it's refreshing to hear that residents of Jackson County are starting to wake up to the dangers of distracted driving. People do need to realize this is dangerous. This is very dangerous. This could be your loved one. It could be you. A step in the right direction, but still so far to go. The holidays, obviously a tough time for Sean and Jenna and their family, but his employer, Reinhardt Food Services and Lee Summit, provided a Thanksgiving feast for his entire family. The criminal case against the driver in this accident is still making its way through the courts. Reporting in Independence tonight, Scott McDonald, KNBC 9 News.